This is an overview of how a territory manager or salesperson can use Territory Plan Pro to create a sales territory plan that supports them in achieving their objectives. When you install Territory Plan Pro, you get another tab in Salesforce. It works with the other objects in Salesforce. It also gives you a dashboard and reports. You can create as many new territory plans as you want. Territory plans can be oriented toward geography or vertical market focus, however you design your sales territories. Here is one of our sales territory plans. Uh, the user, again, the territory manager, uh, identifies their goal, their close ratio. The app calculates how much uh, is in their closed opportunities relative to what's in the plan and what's in their open opportunities, meaning in their funnel, and, and calculates their pipeline gap. They can also identify their personal goal. And what we're really trying to do here is install a strategic thought process that goes from top to bottom, from general to more specific. So as we go down, we're going to get more specific. First, we look at the overview of what's going on in the geography or the vertical market and identify our territory goals and uh, the territory narrative, which would be the net net of how you plan to accomplish your goals and objectives in this sales territory. As we go down, we then look at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that are relevant here. And then uh, this help us, helps us create strategies and tactics that will enable us to achieve our goals. And when we create a new strategy, the app also gives us the opportunity to, right in that moment, create a new task or event uh, that is going to help us accomplish these important strategies and execute on the tactics. From there, we want to think about what are the key uh, target accounts and the key target opportunities that we uh, want to include in our plan. So we give uh, the user many options for how they can bring in either accounts or opportunities. One is you can bring in all of your accounts or all of your opportunities. Another is that you can select from my accounts or all accounts or select from my opportunities. So, for example, we give them a selection page that makes it easier to check off which of these accounts or in the opportunity page, uh, which of these opportunities to bring into their uh, territory plan. Now that we've brought in the key accounts and opportunities, uh, you'll notice they are in our section. It sorts the accounts sort by priority. Uh, let's take a look at the edit page here uh, that allows us to create our account strategy. So here we are in the account strategy page. We can prioritize this account as to how important it is. And we create a strategy starting with the account's compelling needs and ending with our sales approach. We can also identify uh, what partners uh, we may be working with and who the key players are in this account. Likewise, we can create an opportunity strategy, which is similar, uh, but adds in the decision process and the funding process and culminates in what are the next steps that will enable us to win in this very important opportunity. We also can capture who the key uh, players are, the key roles, and, uh, and then if we are using partners to help us win in this opportunity, we can identify them here. And if we use the Salesforce product functionality, we can add the information there. Back at the main user interface again now, uh, you'll notice that this has uh, a lot of data on the opportunity. This all comes in from the opportunity object. The user does not have to re-enter this. As a matter of fact, the app is designed to minimize any re-entry of data. The amount field gives us what we use to sum up 
uh, the sums above of closed opportunities and of open opportunities. Um, and uh, we now can start thinking about which partners we're going to work on at a territory level in these various accounts. We have an activity history section that keeps track of all completed activities, task, tasks, and events in Salesforce. And it also allows us to log a call, send an email, et cetera. You can have your Salesforce admin add this notes and attachments section. And we have a setup guide that will enable them to do that. And you can keep important attachments, for example, org charts, or even PDFs of this plan. To create a PDF of the plan, you just click Generate PDF, and it will give you a PDF of the plan. You can attach it to the plan so you have a snapshot of uh, where you are. You can send it to somebody. You can print it, etc. Another thing you can do is from an opportunity, you can add an opportunity into the territory plan. Uh, you can have your Salesforce admin add this little section here. The user clicks new target opportunity and then identifies which territory plan should be associated with this opportunity. Right here, they can create the opportunity strategy and save. And that will take them back to the territory plan. So this has been a quick overview of how you and your team can use Territory Plan Pro to create good sales territory plans to accomplish your objectives.